Hi guys, John Naylor from iClick.com. Today's a day to celebrate. We've actually got today the next generation of my iClick phone holder, which is a tripod mount for doing panoramic photos on with or with your smartphone. And uh, so let's get straight into it and what's out of the box. This is actually the third generation of this product. And this one, we've grown the actual size of it so it can accommodate pretty much any smartphone up to iPhone 6 Plus or the Samsung uh, Galaxy S6. What we've got also, so out of the box, it comes with this standard device, which is a scissor action thing here, which has got mount holes here for both iPhone and for uh, Samsung or Android devices. We've also got a side mount here so you can actually put your phone and, and use it for general video work like what we're doing right now or, or take photos in, um, in panoramic. So that's what's in the box, a couple of lucky bands to hold your phone in. And I'm also gonna include a couple of these sticky dots here which are non-skid little neoprene uh, dots. So you can actually fasten them to the, or glue, stick them to the face here to hold your phone in place while you're actually doing your panoramics. Okay, so what's actually going on here? Let's uh, show you something else we've got today, and that's the brand new iPhone 6 Plus. Look at that, and we're gonna slide that in there. We won't bother with the sticky dots today, but you can see there that um, the accommodation there is quite ample and quite snug for the 6 Plus. And this is where it gets a bit technical. So anyone that's had tried to shoot panoramic photos with uh, in traditionally uh, Microsoft's Photosphere, but it looks like uh, off uh, Photosynth, but it looks like that one's actually disappeared from uh, iTunes Store for whatever reason. Um, and now you've got Google Photosphere application and that's a one that kicked off in about January 2015 and it's gone through a couple of iterations it's actually reasonably reliable at shooting panoramas and I've just seen an announcement today from Google that uh, they're actually going to rename that app and bring all that product together and you'll shortly like mid this month mid August 2015 there's actually going to be the um, what are they called it the Street View app Okay, so it's integrating, integrating the street view and the professional uh, sphere, uh, panoramic photos and uh, the Prome stuff such as we, what we do with our iClick device. So keep an eye out uh, for that app to turn up. And, and that's going to turn up for Android as well by the sounds of it and integrated into the Android operating system as well. So any of those apps that allow you to do um, spherical, um, uh, uh, cylindrical panoramas or uh, spherical panoramas are going to work with this device. So let's keep on with the demo. So as you can see here, what's really important here, and what we've accommodated with the uh, the iPhone 6 and, and any iPhone, is that the, the uh, as you can see here, is the the actual uh, camera is located on the left hand side here. So what we've done here is I've got a, a screw mount here in the bottom that allows for your iPhone devices. So it's really key is that if you get like a smaller iPhone, a 6 or a 5 or even the 4S, is that when you actually use it, you do line it up with that screw mount point there and screw that onto your tripod. I'll show you that in a sec. We've also got a second screw mount point on this new model, a universal model, which allows you for your center mounted cameras and you can see up there that we've actually got a cutaway there to accommodate with our phone. Now, of course, keep in mind that if you do have the um, a phone, an Android phone, it's got the camera a bit lower down, then what's really paramount is say if, say if the Apple logo here was actually your camera on your uh, Android device, is that we actually lined up on that cross axis there. Okay, and that goes for both uh, the iPhones and the Android devices. Make sure you line up across that screw mount point and I'll show you why in a minute. As you see here, six plus, really snug and lines up really nicely with this point here. So that's what's going on there. Let's screw it on. Now, as I said, the, uh, with the iPhone, we've got that second mount point there. So we're just gonna screw it onto our tripod. And that's nice and snug there. Keep in mind when you're screwing these on too, is not to do them up too tight. This is 16 mil acrylic. This is the uh, production product here. But, you know, we have actually run into some strife with the actual thread stripping out if you really work it really hard. But as you can see there, snug on top. So we've got that axis action there. I'll show you that one. There you go. You see that axis, axis action there um, that keeps the camera in the right place. And we're going to use we're going to use the pan head option on our on our on our actually um, on our tripod here to do the panoramic. Important thing too is if you're buying tripods, make sure the center line is right under that screw mount. That's really really important. Okay, put that one aside. Let's scoop out the old uh, the old phone here and show you what's going on here. So in our app store and you should be, of course, uh, aware of this or on Google Play or whichever service. Now, I've gone through and looked for, in this case, and I said this is early August 2015. They have announced that shortly we won't be searching for Google Photosphere. We'll be uh, looking for uh, the Street View app, Google Street View app. So we'll, I'm waiting, I'm gagging to actually see that one in play. Um, same thing for Google Play, obviously. So we're going to get that, and then we open 
uh, that application up, download, install it on a phone. Now, uh, I don't know how we're going to go actually showing you specifically here, but showing up, um, showing the Photosphere app, there we go. That's actually getting into our, I think that you can see that, there we go, yeah, so that's happening there. And we click on that little button down the bottom there, and that actually kicks us into, and we see that by default, and without using iClick even, we can just do that action there. And if we also tilt up. Now we're doing that by hand, and as we as we can see, the big problem is with that is that we're, we're moving the camera around. We're doing we're up here and all around, and if you're not concentrating, if you're not keeping that camera in exactly the right place, you're actually going to get a whole lot of parallax errors in there. It's not going to look that great when you um, finish finish loading it around. But um, let's show you what happens here. So with our actual eye click mounted up and I haven't actually, there's a brand new phone believe it or not so we can't actually show you the actual app in play but just to show you that action so we, we start out here and for instance we've started up the Google Photos Photosphere app and we pointed it straight ahead it should have a yellow dot appear on our middle of our screen here and it's going to take the first frame we're then going to circle around until it takes a second frame a third, a fourth and so on so we're going to go all the way around twisting around and, and taking photos all the way around that cylinder um, to actually get our horizontal axis. We're then going to tilt it up. Now see that, that action kicks up. Once again, there's a little yellow dot will appear in there and that allows us to line up and actually shoot our angled frames around there. As you can see, the camera's held in exactly the right spot. Okay. Then the Photosphere app actually does a, a, a set around the top, so a third row up, and you're going to do a full circuit of those as well. Same thing downwards, where we actually point it down. And once again, there's always a dot there that lines it up. You do have to do, with Photosphere, one of the things, you do have to do the entire um, panorama, spherical panorama. Otherwise, it won't come up with the green finish and a, a square with a green circle around it. And until you've got all the photos done, you won't actually get the permission to go on with it. So anyway, we're going to keep going around there. And then there's going to be another set looking mostly downwards. The iPhone iClick frame is going to appear in those photos, but magically it disappears from the final product, so that's all good. Um, once it's all done, then we're going to press uh, the finish button, and right there on the phone, it's actually going to go and compose a, um, a full spherical panorama. Now keep in mind that we're out in a nice big open space here, and the, the software is going to bend the photo a little bit, make it a bit canonical, and try its best to stitch those in. Now in a big open paddock like this, it's going to do a really good result. In an enclosed space, like if we're doing it in a toilet, for instance, it's not going to be perfect. But, um, you know, a bit of trial and error, and you'll get some fairly significant uh, results. I've used this for commercial photography, for real estate, for hotels, onboard boats, um, just for pure pleasure. You can uh, browse down to my category, catalogue of uh, photos that are loaded onto uh, Google, Google Photospheres, and there's like 500 um, odd photos that I've done there in some fabulous places, ruins in Turkey, um, across Japan, etc. I invite you to take a look and see the quality there so you can get a bit of a gauge of what's going on. But anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The, um, the iClick Universal, as I've called it, is now this latest model and it's available for purchase on www.iclick.com and that's spelled I-C-L-Y-C-K.com and the price is very reasonable considering the cost of manufacture. I'll ship these to anywhere in the world for a very reasonable price. Um, it's a nice little package. It goes surf, uh, via email, fits inside a standard envelope, so I can send them pretty much anywhere. I'm happy to do that for you so that you can be uh, one of the cool kids on the block and doing uh, panoramic photos with, with absolute precision with the uh, iClick Universal. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to sending you one soon.